So I'm in Pooch Cove, Newfoundland on an artist residency for the month of October. And I thought I'd just kind of share a bit about my experiences and show you the studio uh, because it's been a really amazing experience so far. And I still have a few weeks, which is just kind of mind blowing really. Um, I've been able to paint every day if I, if I want to or go hiking or kind of just have freedom from my regular routines. And it's, it's been a really interesting experience, um, especially because this is my first residency, so I didn't know what to expect. I'm, I'm loving being able to paint every day for as long as I want. I think it's important to take breaks sometimes too, and that's something I've discovered as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of the month holds. So here's my studio. I appropriated the kitchen table to turn into a painting table. And this is the painting that I'm working on. Uh, you can see there's still quite a bit of the underpainting showing, I, all the, the figures on the left side. Uh, but I've done the first pass on the majority of it. Um, so hopefully this gives you a sense of the direction that it's heading. And then it's quite a big studio. I've got a kitchen, a couch area, there's a loft bedroom. It's really got everything, everything I need. Um, having a big table is great. It'll give you a better sense of my painting. Yeah, so you can kind of see where it's going. Big windows. northwest facing which is really nice and then I brought all of my art supplies with me uh, so I've got my brushes paints uh, I've been experimenting using some gal kid just to speed up the drying time um, because I'll need to roll the painting up and ship it home at the end of the residency but I brought my my standard palette with me and then the wooden palette is mine, but the glass palette uh, was provided by James, who runs the foundation. One question I had was um, whether I could paint in an unfamiliar environment, because I'm so used to my studio and having all of the things with me that I need. But I've been able to get a lot of painting done and it's taken a you know a couple days of settling in but really it's been very comfortable and easy to paint here uh, and I, I just love it. Something I kind of realized for me anyways because I have a studio at home that I love is that the residency is not about having the space to paint um, though I'm sure it, it can be if if you don't have a studio or you're working in a place that isn't quite suitable. Um, but for me, it's really been about having the, the time to paint and the focus and the break from routine. Um, I've worked to put aside this time to be kind of exclusively for painting or for whatever is needed at that time. You know, if it's a break that's needed or a hike or a bit of sightseeing, then that's, that's fine too. So for me, it's really been about having the time put aside to focus on just painting or whatever I need in the moment. And that's been really, really cool uh, to have that time and to know that it's it's finite maybe, you know, I don't know if life can always be like this, maybe it can, who knows. Um, but yeah, having the, having the space, having the focus, I like having the mental space and focus to work, uh, to paint, to be free of most of normal life responsibilities for this short period uh, has just been incredible and I'm looking forward to uh, the remainder of my time here. I'm so thankful to James for inviting me and having me here. Like, I couldn't ask for a more beautiful setting and um, it's just, it's been a wonderful experience.